Hey, I'm Tristan. Welcome to Ride On Precision Hunting and Reviews. And for the purpose of review today, I have got an absolute perler. It does not matter if you're in the field hunting or if you're on a bench shooting targets, you're going to want this item because I certainly did. And I've just gone and purchased it for every single scope that I own. The scope cut cap. The simple scope cap, we would all be familiar with maybe Butler Creek. They were sort of kind of like the first people to sort of bring it in, flip up scope caps. But has it been bettered since then? Well, it has. Um, this is the scope cap that came with my March scope. And these are better than the Butler Creek ones. Instead of just being a one stage, like they would just flip up like that, these are a two stage. So they have a, a totally flat lockout. And these are a standard feature that come with any one of these March scopes. I've got four of them on the bench at the minute. Um, so that's a much better option than what comes with, um, you know, like on a, the, than you can buy from a, Butler Creek and not to say that there's anything wrong with Butler Creek flip up caps they're fantastic but you know over time they have been bettered now for the purpose of this review today this is the new series from uh, Vortex it's called the Defender flip up caps and how much could they get better well I can assure you these got better in every single way like I said I've just purchased it for every single rifle I own this is uh, this is the box come in and have a good look at them you uh, choose your objective lens cover size should I say so this is for my big Bertha at the back here 56 millimeter objective lens and the e10 seems to be the go-to size for the uh, for the eyepieces it's a uh, they're a very when you when I show you this item up and close and in personal you'll see what I mean they're a very sort of one size fits most this is it here this is what you get this is the eye cap which will be going onto this rifle here I've got the objective lens fitted this one will be my eyepiece so instead of being a hard plastic slide on lens which you really have to get down to the last millimeter look at this it's a really thick there's a like a good three or four mils thick of like a rubberized uh, film there which is very very strong it's not going to rip and tear it's going to be totally waterproof it's going to be totally dustproof but these are just so robust it's not funny um, one thing that I do like about them, they've got the left and the right hand side um, uh, ampidextrous um, opening. So when you're, it doesn't matter from which way you're going to do it, but even the same as, much the same as the March one, because it's on the left and the right, it will, if this was, your, if this was the objective lens and my finger is the barrel, you're not going to have an interference from the barrel, which some of the previous and very early um, flip up caps did actually have that problem so it's going to have a bit of a clearance there for your barrel but the fact that it's that rubberized it will fit any sort of well it'll fit most this is a this one here if we um, come to this rifle at the front this is actually a 50 mil 52 millimeter scope objective lens but it's a 50 millimeter um, scope cap so it can fit so many and as you can see there you just press it once and it goes to that position then you've got the total lockdown and it's really rock solid when this locks out I mean it's you can hear it it is rock solid and the front it clicks in it's just super super strong um, so like I say one size is gonna fit so many it just stretches around I'm really really loving this product I can't tell you how much I like them um, this one here this is where it gets really good it's for the eyepiece when you get them it's got a, a blank disc on the inside of the, which doesn't stand too much, but it does indicate to you that this is your dope chart. Now, for people who don't know your dope chart, basically, long, very long story short, this is a range card. So, in the, because this is the one thing that you're looking at when your scope uh, cover is up, you've got a, a, a range card sitting right in front of your face, which is a really good idea. You can purchase them like this, blank ones. You get a permanent marker and you go through and you just in index on it your own which is what I've done because that way you can do it you know exact or you can customize it you can write in whatever you've got whatever your units of measurement are but I do believe you can go onto the vortex website and have custom dope charts made so a custom range card made which will be you know typed up and they're quite obviously waterproof they do come with a little felt um, sticky uh, label that you put on the back side. And if we open this one, this one's for my TRG in 308. And I've got a 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, all the way up to 550 meters. 
and under that is the uh, Miller radiance of elevation that I'm gonna have to fit. Now let's just see how easy it is to fit one of these up. You just line it up like that. As you can see, it takes a bit of a stretch. Just comes on. You just wiggle it on. It does take a bit of force to wiggle them on because they're so grippy. That rubber is just sticking to the scope like it's no one's business. And that's well and truly on there now. Now let's just swap this rifle around because this one's already done up. And we're gonna utilize this rifle for the review and because I'm gonna be playing with it, I just wanna point out that there's no uh, bolt in this rifle so it's safe for us to handle. The front one, up like that, and then to lock down. So now it's totally flat. If you have things like, I've got a uh, rifle mounted rangefinder here, it's gonna go over the top of it, it's not gonna miss it, hit it at all. Locks down, like I say, up again. It's That lockout is so strong. Now from this point of view here, if we come up to the eyepiece, come up, you can click it down if you're just shooting, but then if you do want to see it, you've got two stages. So you've got that one there, but this one you can lock up. So if you come around over my shoulder and look so you can see what my view is, if I'm on the rifle and I look up and I, so if you've got the uh, built-in rangefinder, it's gonna be fantastic. You see here 550, you see here 550, and 3.7 uh, mils, you can just index your 3.7 and away you go. So that there is the Vortex Defender series of flip-up scope covers. Um, this is what they look like on a, uh, on a rifle, on a scope should I say. And if you wanna hold the camera there, I'm just gonna do a little spin around the front and I'm just flip that for you. That's the eyepiece, and this one here's yet to have its index card put in. Here's one of the blank index cards, and they just slip in like that. They even go down to the tiny, this is my shorty for my foxing gun. Look at that, and it closes straight to its, open, to its locked out position. 100% waterproof, dust proof, super strong lockout, two stage. It's just a fantastic scope cover. If you've seen a better scope cover than that, with that sort of features in it, I wanna know about it because these things are awesome. Until the next video, I hope you enjoy and get yourself a set of Vortex um, Defender scope covers. You can certainly purchase them right here in Australia through Safari Firearms. That's where I've purchased mine. The guys up there in, uh, in Sydney are just a fantastic bunch of people. If you've never been into the shop, you'll uh, be in for a surprise. They don't leave much real estate untouched. It is wall to wall full of rifles and gears and that sort of thing. Gary and the, the guys will certainly be able to help you out with these as they did me. So thank you, Gary, for um, being able to source these for me and get, uh, get onto it. If you want some, give the guys at Safari a call and I'll see you on the next video.